Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. Gilly updates. Rest of today's video is from Fidens, uh, and it is a new beer to me. It is Rose Double IPA, uh, and it is. I think I bought it like two weeks, two weeks and a day ago. So it's roughly two weeks old. Um, there is a date on it. So this, yeah, okay, that adds up. 8.2% ABV, Citra, and Galaxy. So, if you watch a lot of my videos, or if you don't, I mean, love Citra. Like, I'm totally, like, a big Citra guy. But, man, do I love Galaxy. Love Galaxy. So, I, I'm really excited for this beer. Um, man, look at that. It looks like straight juice. Um, I'm really excited for this beer because you're combining easily two of my favorite hops but the thing with galaxy lately it seems like it's not as expressive with that like canned crushed pineapple thing that i love about galaxy so super curious to see what they were able to get out of uh, this selection of galaxy hops uh but yeah like i was saying i was pouring it actually it's a little bit beyond just like juice you're you're actually kind of with this one approaching like a smoothie butternut squash kind of a thing uh it's very dark um uh, like orange but like orange mixed in with some brown because it's just so thick so i'm wondering the way the lighting is what you're seeing is probably a little lighter than what i'm seeing because the light is not traveling through this beer at all from my angle the head went away relatively not that there was a ton when i poured it uh barely off white uh but yeah it definitely looks like a big double ipa you know the new england uh, new england style family proper glassware too Let's get to the aroma. Okay, so I get my, I know it's boring to hear, trifecta of citra. I definitely get that. It's like a really nice ripe mango. I get the, the ripe peach as well. Orange is just like orange juice. So like nothing, you know, super specific other than, yeah, it smells like orange juice that way. Now, here's where to me it gets a little bit more interesting. It's not straight crushed pineapple at this point, but it really reminds me, I used to, I gotta get a new dehyd a food dehydrator. My dad had one when we were growing up. We used it all the time. Uh, you know, uh, cut up apples, uh, bananas. So those were probably, the bananas are what we made the most, but apples. But one of my favorite things was when he would buy the canned uh, pineapple rings and dehydrate those, but the, the tray you know, like you had like the perforated trays to put the fruit on or whatever you were drying. But then there was, it came with this um, not perforated tray that you could pour liquid on and essentially make like a super healthy all fruit, fruit roll up and using the extra juice in the pineapple can. And then <laughs> I know this is like the most specific, uh, uh, or it's not even a tasting note, aroma note, but like, the way the pineapple is coming through reminds me of that, but like if it was a pineapple orange juice that you did that dehydration move on, uh, because I can't separate, like that pineapple, because it's not so just straight pineapple, is like has like attached at the hip to how I'm getting orange in this. So that's kind of cool. Like it's there, but it's there in a unique way, which... I really appreciate like I, I don't know I just I think that's cool man you must get like a little bit of like creamsicle doesn't say lactose or anything but you kind of get like a little bit of a creamsicle vibe I'm kind of glad I, I, I talked so long and went back into another smell because it's had time to open up a little bit it's it's yeah it, it man it just smells good there, there's there's no beer like this is this smell wise is just straight juice let's see about the taste cheers very juice forward but it does drink like a beer i'm i'm totally fine if a beer smells like straight juice like fair enough but when i taste it i do want some beer right like i did make a point to open a beer this has as much juice as the juice heads want but it does have some bitterness you know it, it does have um almost like um oh man that pineapple does come through a little bit man it's 
good. But yeah, with that bitterness, there's a super slight dankiness. It's not pine. It is like weedy dank. It's, again, it is mostly sweet. It is, you know, until the bitterness kicks in and then it's a good mix. Uh, it's mostly juice by a lot. But there is a little bit of that beer dankness as well. It's a lot like the aroma. I'm getting actually really lovely big peach and mango notes. Uh, citrus for sure in the way of orange. More pineapple. It's not how I remember like, not to talk about another brewery, but like the first beer that I was like, what is this in terms of the hop? Uh, it being Galaxy was uh, green from Treehouse. And it's not, and it's not just Fiden's right now with Galaxy. I haven't, it's very rare anymore I've been getting that punch like I used to with Pineapple. Of how I've had Galaxy at least the last 12 months, this is upper level of pineapple expression from Galaxy, for me anyway. So that is very high praise. I don't know if that's coming across the way I intend it to or not, but like, like that makes me happy because I went into this beer wanting some pineapple, and it's delivering. Uh, it's got just, yeah, that trifecta of Citra that I love. It's a little bit generic. Uh, tropical also mixed in with what is like very explicitly there and again that nice level of bitterness when that does kick in nice level of juice good mouthfeel which I did not mention it's just a good beer yeah I, yeah and I, I'm definitely in the habit I, I kind of like waiting two weeks or so for for these beers I think they really are wonderful at that point if you had this beer before, have you had a beer with Citra and or Galaxy lately you want to tell me about anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check them out on Instagram and Untapped. There's no hype beer views at both those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.